begin, make sure you have these items. You have weights. Whether it's two dumbbells, uh, two dumbbell equivalents, whether it's one weight, water, you need a towel, and you need your own music because you don't want to muffle the sound, all right? Once you got all that stuff, all you need is space and be ready to have a good time. We're going to go ahead and get started in this warm up. Three, two, and a one. Go ahead and grab your knee. Nice and steady thigh hunter. So grab that knee, hold for one, and then set it down. Hold for one, set it down. There you go, good. So it's nice and steady. You're doing 10 at total. So make sure as you're doing this, you're starting nice and easy, nice and steady. The whole purpose of a warm up is to do exactly that, just get warmed up. I know sometimes we get really competitive really early, but really listen to your body and start off slow. Number two, we're doing a super stretch. You're going into a nice lunge position, dropping your back knee, bringing both hands on the instep. Inhale, lift the hand up towards the knee. Exhale, bring the hand down. Inhale, open up away from the knee. Exhale, bring it down. And you're gonna do five total of these. So two open ups equals one rep. So you're doing that five times on your right, and you do it on your left, or vice versa. If you started with your left, you can then go from left to right. If you want to make this more challenging, you can always pop that back knee up off the ground. It's a great way to make this a little bit more spicy. Yeah, so once you're done with five on one side, you're going to go ahead and switch feet. Once again, whatever you did on one leg, let's go ahead and make sure you repeat that on the other. Inhale, exhale. Make sure you're moving with breath to movement. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good. Once again, if you want a deeper stretch, bring that back knee off the floor. Good. Exhale. Once you're done with uh, five on each side, so 10 total there, then you're gonna go to the pendulum leg swing. So, swing it forward, swing it back. Notice I'm also using my arms. If you don't trust your hands yet, you can always keep them up, but you'll notice the more you focus on swinging with the hands, the more momentum you'll create. If you need an option, you can always swing, pause, swing, pause. But our goal is to keep our torso tall and separate the upper from the lower and just have your leg doing the swing. Try to avoid any chest. We don't want that. We want to stay tall and swing with that tall body, really working from the hip. Once you're done with 10 there, you're going to go with some good old high knees for 20. If you're like, oh, I'm not ready yet at times, guess what? You can just march. You can also add a little high knee skip if that's something that's a little bit more on your radar. There you go. So you got 20 here. Once you're done with 20, we're going to do the shin cradle. So grab that foot. Grab that knee, pull that whole shin towards your chest, or at least try to get it as parallel to the floor as possible. If you want, you can just pull the foot up, press the knee down, that might help get around that hip flexor region as well. Kind of play with this. So maybe pull it in for one, maybe pull up and push down for a different one. But we're doing 10 total here, really loosening up these hips. They're gonna notice we have a lot of work with high intensity work, and then we have that ab and focus in the middle. Once you're uh, ready to take it back to the top, just go a little quicker. So 10 total on the thigh, hunter, moving a little faster, faster than you were previously. 10 on each side, then you're gonna bring those hands down. Inhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Get five on one, and boom. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Five on the other. Once you're done with those five from five, coming back up, let's get back to those pendulum swings. Once again, eyes and chest are elevated. If you ever need to just bend your knee, that's totally fine and minimize the range. That's totally fine if you're just working on your balance, whatever you gotta do. But make sure you're keeping your abs tight and your chest is up. Once you're done, ah, 15 on one, you're 15 on the other. Keep it out a little hot. If you're feeling ready to get sweaty a little early, totally fine as well. Once you're done with 15 on one and 15 on the other, right back into those high knees. Once again, you can have that little skip, you can stand in march, whatever you need to do. But we got 45 seconds, whoo, till we get into our first block of the day. Now your first block of the day is a work down. What that means is you're gonna work down the rep scheme and you're just gonna work until our 12 minute module is up. So after this warm up, you're literally gonna be on the clock for 12 minutes straight. So make sure you're ready. Ah, 
for that next level movement. If you need to get the extra squats in, maybe an extra lunge, whatever you need, do whatever you gotta do to get nice and warm. Uh, all right, in five, three, two, and oh my. All right, check it out, team. So we have a workout. You're gonna do these three exercises for 12 minutes straight. Starting at round one, working your day way down to round five. If you can complete round five, you just work your way back up to round one. Exercise number one, good old fashioned jump squat. Eyes up, chest up, drop it down, power up, and then land in a squat. Option, you can squat, cap raise, and then back to a squat or just regular squats for 10. Then you're gonna grab your two weights, or one weight, whatever you have. You're gonna go into a lateral lunge, drive up, and then power the knee up. If you need an option, you can just pause, drive the knee up, or just focus on lateral lunges. You're gonna do 10 on the right, then 10 on the left. Then you're gonna roll your shoulders back, Palms face one another, lift the weights up for one, down slow for three. Option, one arm at a time, or you can always go right away. Let's go jump squat, three, two, and one, let's go. So your workout just began, one, two, you got 10 of these. Four, make sure the chest is up, five, good, six, how high can you go, seven, eight, nine, 10, once you're done with 10, you grab those weights instantaneously, you pop them up over by your collarbone, Remember, it's a wide lateral step, drive the knee up. When you do your lateral lunge, make sure your toes are facing forward and you're shifting your butt back. Drag your knee up and then right back down. Remember, your option, if you need it, lateral lunge, pause, drag the knee up, and then step back out. Or, no right knee. Or, if you're like Taj, I need to keep my feet on the ground. Guess what? Bring those feet wide. And you can do 10 lateral shifting lunges on one side. Then once you're done with 10 on, on let's say your right, you're gonna work right over to the other side. Whether it's the lateral shift, whether it's the regular lateral lunge with the knee drive, or if it's a lateral lunge step, and then lift to the knee as well. Now remember, if you're having difficulty with the weights, you can always go no weights as well on any of those options. So let's say you wanna try your knee up, that's great. No matter whether you have weights or not, make sure the hands are up, the chest is up, and the eyes are forward, regardless of where you're looking. Now, make sure when you're driving the knee, the knee's going straight up. So you want your knee to go straight up. Try not to confuse your body by sending your knee this way, because that makes it potential for your plant foot knee to twist. We want to make sure we're staying unilaterally balanced as we are unilaterally challenged, which means one side at a time. Once you're done with 10 on each side there, Grab those weights, shoulders roll back. You're gonna lift the weights up for one, pause for one, down slow for three. Make sure your core is tight and you tuck your pelvis. So abs are really squeezed, butt is really squeezed, thighs are tense, everything is tight. So you have a sturdy foundation. Now remember with this one, don't need to go any higher than shoulder and then slowly lower. If you need that option, you're gonna go one arm at a time, you can even keep one up for that extra little optional burn. Ha <laughs> ha That's a good one. Where you kind of add an isometric exercise uh, potential to focus in there. Now, once you're done with 10, 10, 10, you're just gonna take it right to nine, nine, and nine. I like that chair we got going over there. Hey. <laughs> good. Now, once you're on those jump squats, remember, as your butt goes down, there you go, Shelly, keeping those hands above the collarbone. Very nice. Good, Megan, looking good, bringing that knee across the body. Yes. Yes, fellas, I see you with those chairs and those front raises. Great job using whatever you got. I like it, I like it, I like it. There you go, Melissa. Good, ooh, add a little knee tuck to your squat jump. I like that, that's nice. There you go, Cam, getting wide, getting deep, really pushing that butt back. Good, good, Laura. Yes, Rena, good people, keeping that weight above the collarbone. Yes, Leslie, getting that knee up. Now, if you feel like you're able to keep your plant leg, if you're doing the lateral lunge to the knee crunch, and if you want more of a cross body torso challenge, you can drive the knee across, but make sure the plant knee doesn't twist along with it. So you have to be super stable through your midsection. So if you are going with that more challenging variation with the lateral lunge, you gotta make sure that plant leg 
If you're bringing the knee across, that knee doesn't twist. That's the only reason why we want to make sure our knee goes straight up and down. And that's the reason why you see Tad's knee going straight up and down. Good, Rena. Now try to slow down those front raises. Try to pause for one at the top and then go down slow. Now notice during the front raise, Mr. Tad has his palms facing one another. So instead of like this, we're like this. So when you lift the weight, your palms, yeah, there you go, Kim. Good adjustment. Nice, Allison. Way to keep those weights up. Now, if you ever have the weights in the front and you feel like they're pulling you down, lift your elbows up and that kind of starts to create a little shelf. There you go, Allison. A little shelf towards the shoulders and it allows you to keep it up a little higher. Good, fellas. With those chairs, slow down. Slow down with the chair. There you go. Good, Saneha. Yes, loving that pause at the top. Good, Laura. Very nice. Nice and steady. There you go, Reno. Now remember with those jump squats, you want to land in the squat. So make sure that butt is getting as low as you can handle and you're heating it up just like a candle. That's right. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Good. Now, Allison, that looks fantastic. If you can rotate your palms to face one another. Yeah, there you go. You'll get more of the top end of that shoulder. Very nice. Good. So we got seven minutes left. You're almost halfway done. Now remember, your goal is to get all the way down to round five or as close to as possible. Now if you're an absolute speedster and you get to round five and you complete your six reps, you just go back up to round four and see if you can get back up to round one. So you just work down and if you're able to get to bottom, you just work your way back up. Keep going though, don't stop. Let's go, let's go. There you go. Very nice team, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, Araceli, I see you. Great stuff. Good, Hillary. Woo! Good, me. Good, Rachel. Good. Remember, all those front raises, have those palms face one another as we're doing it. It'll help you target a look. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Good, Leslie. I love the lateral lunge. If you're able to go a little wider with the step, yeah, there she is. There you go. Very nice. Yeah, I'm gonna get a little bit more glutes, a little more thigh in there. Good. Yes, and they are. Great job driving that knee up and over. Yes. Good, Megan. Way to pause at the top. Love that slow, steady movement. Ah, I see you, Melissa. Hold that weight, keeping it up. Now, if you are on those lateral, those lateral lunges and you're bringing that knee across, you're like, I want more core rotation. I want more abs. And guess what? On that lateral lunge, you can even bring the opposite knee to that elbow. So as you drive out, you can bring it across and then pause. But pause at the top for one, really get that condensed feeling, and then make sure you have the balance and you're able to pause at the top before you send your body back out wide. Nice, Allison. Now, as we're doing our jump squats, do our best to keep our hands off our thighs. I know, I know it's hard, I know it's hard. Use those muscles to absorb that weight. And remember, there's no shame in taking out the jump and going squat to calf raise. It's all good. It's all good. If you want to just, just hit a squat and then come up on your toes, guess what? That's a great way woo, to regress and then continue the movement. But think about it. When it comes to agility and increasing all your abilities, you want to make sure that you're continually moving and improving and try to maintain the consistent effort the entire class. Good team, we got four and a half minutes. Come on, don't stop. There you go, Araceli. Yes, we're the good people. Yes, Hillary, I see you with that crossbody knee drive. Great job, Laura. I see you with that up top rotation. Very, very, very nice and controlled. Yes. Man, good job, Shelly. Getting wide, getting deep. Good, Megan, staying consistent with that slow, steady front raise. Good. Yes, team. Oh my goodness, we are earning and burning right now. We got less than four minutes. Once again, if you get down to round five and you complete all three exercises at six reps, I almost, I almost went six, six, six. <laughs> I don't want to do that. But if you complete all exercises at six, six reps each, you just go right back up to seven and then up to eight as far as you can. Yes, Melissa, I love your extra knee tuck. You're really adding that extra. So if you can't see what Melissa's doing, woo, she said she wants to turn her, her jump squats into a little extra spice is nice. So what she's doing, she's bringing the knees up and then landing in the squat. If you want to add that, feel free. If you don't, that's cool too. <laughs> I just like to give you all the options. 
opportunities and challenges. Yeah. Shout out to Melissa. Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> Good. Good, Megan. Now make sure as we're going loud, though, if you got those weights up, don't let them pull your chest down. We want to keep those elbows up. We want to keep that chest proud. Good, Kim. Look at you doing like a star jump. I love it because you're a star. Yes. Yes. Good, Hillary. Hillary said floor to ceilings are better. I like it. I like it. <laughs> those don't count for this week's challenge, though. It's a separate workout. <laughs> yes. Good, Rachel. Stay moving around in all the distractions. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Ah. Good, Les. We're getting some serious airtime there. Very nice. Good, Taneha. Very nice. Good, RSL. Looks like you got a jug of water. Great use of household items. Woo! Oh, my goodness. We got just over two minutes. Come on, don't stop. This is still your time to keep grinding. There you go. Hey, what happened to my two fellas with the chairs? We ain't done yet. We still got two minutes. <laughs> what happened, fellas? <laughs> Come on, yeah. There they are. There they go. <laughs> ah, I don't know whose kids these are, but they are getting it. <laughs> I love it. Good team. Come on, we got less than two minutes. Whatever you are doing, do not stop moving. Good. There you go, Allison. Let it use the arms a little bit to get that jump squat a little higher and lower. Now remember, when you're on that front raise, still maintain the slow movement. So you're still slow as you raise that weight up. And as you're doing that front raise, try to keep those arms straight. There you go. Yes, team. Oh my goodness, we are getting to it. Come on, you should start to feel breathless, but you should not taste your breakfast. We want to make sure we're keeping that food down. <laughs> ah. Yes, good. Make sure the eyes are up on the jump squats. Don't let the head drop. We want to keep a tall spine and a tall posture. There you go. Final minute. Can you turn it up? Can you turn it up another notch? You're going to get a whole breather after this. Come on, keep getting that butt down on those jump squats. I see some of y'all decided to go a little shallow. Come on, go see how low that thing goes. There you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Y'all making me sweat. I've only worked out a little bit. I appreciate you. <laughs> yes. Teamwork make the dream work. We got 35 seconds. Come on. Make sure if you're on that lateral knee, the lateral lunge to knee crunch, you're giving yourself enough time to get both legs. We got less than 30. Come on. Good, Rita. Good, people. Come on. Let's finish all the way to the buzzer sounds. Come on. I've been watching that Michael Jordan documentary. I expect nothing but greatness. <laughs> oh yeah. Nah. Come on. Ten seconds. Come on, we ain't done yet. There you go. Couple more reps. Five. Oh no. Three. Two. And recover. Oh my goodness. Alright, air fives, air fives. Let's get some air fives. Alright, I gotta move quick. We got three new exercises. These are gonna be timed. We're doing four rounds, 30 seconds a piece, and then you get a 30 second break after each cycle. We got four of them. All right, so exercise number one, you're gonna go into a high plank. Wrists under shoulders, feet behind hips. You're gonna do a push up, and then you're gonna lift your opposite arm and opposite leg, and then set it down. Option, you can do a kneeling push up, and then from your knees, lift your opposite hand and opposite leg. You're gonna alternate each time for 30. Next, you're gonna plant your feet. You're gonna drive your belly down, make sure the lower back is driven to the floor. Arms come out, you're gonna lastly touch your feet. Option, bring your feet wider and hands closer. Challenge feet closer, hands wider. Then the final exercise, you're gonna open all the way up and you're gonna come and tag your heels. Option, plant your heels and then crunch. All right, here we go, push up. Three, two, and one, let's go. So you do one push up, opposite arm, opposite leg, set it down. One push up. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Remember, your option, you can do it from your knees, but tuck your pelvis, drive your belly down. One push up, and then from your knees, lift your opposite arm, opposite leg. Once again, either or works. You can even just lift up just your hand and just your leg as well. Whatever you need to do. Good, one more, three, two, on your back. Plant your feet, let's go. Plant the feet, chest is up, and you're just tapping your heels. Now your goal, your lower back is driven in the ground, your eyes are up, and you're just touching your heels. Remember, the wider your feet are, the easier the 
knees are, the closer your hands are, the easier they are. And the closer the feet are, the wider the hands are, the harder they are. Good, three, two, full extend, come up, tap your heel, and then slide back out. Option, you can always plant your feet and just crunch to the sky or crunch to your heels. Either way, you're still moving. Good. Come on. Big squeeze. 10 seconds. Keep the knees in. Don't let the knees fall out. Keep them in. You can always rest your heels at the top. Good. Three, two, and one. Good. Recover. Woo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's some good abs. Now, remember, on that first one, you want to make sure before you begin your push-up that your lower back, it's not curved. We want to make sure we tuck our pelvis down so when you lift your opposite arm and opposite leg, you have maintained stability through your entire spine. All right, come on down. Push up to two-point plank. Five. Everybody on their hands. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Come on, y'all. We're on the clock. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Now, remember, you can do the push up from your knees. You can also lift your opposite hand and opposite leg up from your knees. There you go. Good, Maddie. Good, Melissa. And remember, if you need, you can always just do one hand or just one leg when you lift it up as well if you're having difficulty with the stabilization. Come on, eight seconds. We ain't done yet. Keep working. Good. Three, two, and on your back. Let's go. Touch your heels. Good. So remember, if you're looking for an easier option, widen your feet and bring your hands in. If you want this to be maximum difficulty, you can bring the feet all the way together and bring your hands out wider. That will force you to cover more ground and it will crazy, uh, force you to increase your range of motion. Also, try to keep the upper back off the floor the entirety while your lower back is permanently glued into the floor. Good, three, two, and V up crunch, let's go. Yeah, so full extension, sweep your arms to the side and then tap your heels. Now, if you're having difficulty with that, remember you can always just plant your feet and you can crunch towards your heels. You can also sweep the arms towards your heels. Good, Hillary, get that full extension. Yes, good, Leslie, good, Rachel. Try to keep at least your upper back off the ground the whole time. You got this nice, Allison. Good, Sanaa. Three, two, and a one. Good, good job. Ah, hat job, airpods, airpods. Great job, great job. All right, so take a nice breather. So the goal is after these 90 seconds of straight core, your body should require the 30 second break. That's how you know you're giving yourself the, the proper amount of effort. And remember, it's not about how many reps in this one. It's about slow, methodical, controlled, isolated movement. All right, hands down. Three, two, and one. Let's go. You got that push up, opposite arm, opposite leg. When you extend your arm out, try to get your bicep by your ear. It's almost like you're reaching for something at the wall or whatever out to above your head. There you go. Nice, Shelly. Rachel with the child on the back doing the push-ups. Absolutely phenomenal. Yes. Good, Hillary. Good, Arcelli. I see you all. Good. We got five. Come on, you got two more. One more. And on your back. Everybody on your back. Quickly. Quickly. So you wanna make sure you drive your belly down, chest and shoulders are up. If you wanna add weights like Shelly, she's given us an ah, amazing challenge. Love it, great job. Yes, now remember, the closer your feet are, the harder these will be. The further your feet are, the closer they are to your hands, which makes it easier. But your shoulders should always be off the floor. Three, two, V up, let's go, V in crunch. So sweep those arms to the side like you're making a snow angel, but you're really becoming an angel with abs. That's all it is, that's all it is. There you go, nice and easy. Woo! Make that full halo all the way around the body, and then come and tap those heels. If you can sit all the way up, that will help you benefit this greatly. And if you want to keep those feet planted, you can still sweep those arms and see how high you can get the shoulder blades up. Come on, three, two, and one. Oh, ah, yes, y'all. Great job. Da, da, elbow. Da, da. Chest bumps. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so we got our final round. 
By the way, our last round, we will hold the hollow body hold, all right, at the last 30. So we're gonna do the same three, and then we'll just hold a hollow body position. There's a myriad of ways we can go about that. Come on down, hands down, last set. Three, two, and one. Let's go, everybody's on it. Push up, opposite arm, opposite leg. Now make sure when you lift your opposite arm, opposite leg, you're not feeling that pressure in your lumbar spine, in that lower spine. You wanna make sure that your pelvis is tucked and your abs are fired so you're not putting unnecessary pressure on your lower spine. We wanna protect our spine to help us be stronger for longer. Good, six seconds, come on, two more. Woo, one more. All right, on your back, let's go. Flippity flop, just like a sandal, on your backside, there we go. Tapping the heels. Now as you're doing this one, can you go further? Maybe your feet are closer, and maybe your arms are wider, and your shoulders are up higher. So see how high you can get your chest towards the ceiling as you're going side to side, really condensing the side body, elongating and expanding the other, and then just steadily repeating. Good, in three, two, and be up in crunch. Let's go, get that full sweep, and then right back out. There you go, Laura. Good. Good, Rachel. Yes, Kim. Good, Mimi. Good, Hillary. Come on, Marcelli. Good, Leslie. Good, Tania. I see you popping up. Nice, Allison. Keep that lower back trimming into the floor. And here goes Melissa. Good. If you ever come up and need to hold your knees, that's totally fine as well. All right, Joel. We're going to add a hollow body hold in three, two, and one. All right, shoulder blades up. Arms are behind the ears, feet are up. The only thing that's in the touch of the ground should be your lower back and your butt. If you need an option, you can bring your hands down. You can also bring the knees in. But try to keep your shoulder blades and your legs off the ground. If you want to make it more fun, start to do hollow body rocks. Oh yeah, this is my favorite type of rocking chair. That legs boy, hollow body rock. Three, two, and one. That's what I'm talking about. That's that extra credit that the teacher didn't even know you did. That's what I'm talking about. Good job. All right, so we're going to finish off this workout with our first of three different supersets. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds on, 20 seconds off, three times through. Muay Thai knee crunch. So with this one, we're going to start with our left leg. You're going to bring your hands up. Left leg steps back. Arms elongate to elongate the midsection. Drive the knee in, and then back. If you're having difficulty getting the hands here, you can just bring the arms in. You can also keep your arms lower, or you can just drive the knee and just keep your hands steady. If you want to make this harder, add a bounce and more extension. You can also grab a weight to really crush those abs. Three, two, one, let's go. Everybody's on it. So 30 seconds of whatever variation you feel is best for you. Once again, if you want the weight and you don't want to go fast, maybe you just drive it, drive it, drive it. But the goal, getting your hands and your knees to meet at your waistline. Try not to cheat either or, whatever pace you need. Three, two, switch legs and repeat, let's go. Come on, it's just like time over. You're building legs. Woo! Come on. Oh, what's good? You want that hop? Go get that hop. And if you want to slow it down, maybe you're like, I don't want to use my arms too much. You can just drive those arms back. You can also just focus on the knee drive. Whatever you need, but think about power, 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 power. Three, two, and one. Recover. Woo! Oh my goodness. You know you're doing it right if you need this 20 second breather. You should be feeling your abs right now absolutely light up. I'm telling you, oh, drive that knee in with absolute power and extreme passion. Three, two, left leg, go, let's go, drive that knee. So, this is high intensity, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, you're lucky I ain't got a leotard on right now. It look like an 80s aerobics class. Yeah, come on. Channel those inner 80s aerobics class buttons. Yeah, team, yeah, team, yeah. There you go. Drive back to knee. There you go, Leslie. Good tonight, huh? Come on, loving those weights. Yes, Rachel. I'm loving all these weights. Yes, Megan. Good people. Good, Hillary. Three, two. Switch sides. Right leg. Go. Don't stop. Come on, it's continuous. It's continuous. Yes, drive that knee. Be 
excited, be exuberant, give it everything you got. Try to be elastic. So think about how long, how long can you be as you boom, boom, boom. How long can your body be as you're driving that knee? Think about elongating that whole midsection, that abdominal cavity. Good, five, three, two, and ah, recover. Whoa, okay, yep, 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 I know, me too. Now, if you ever need oxygen, hands over the head, in the nose, out the mouth. Great job. All right, uh, we're gonna do that one more time and we're gonna move on. Three, two, one, let's go, left leg, drive it. Everybody's driving, boom, 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 boom. You are literally lighting it up. Anybody know about those, uh, those Billy Blank Tybo VHS sets? Yeah, this is that right now. This is Billy Blanks. Let's give me that double time. Boom, 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 boom. Everything is explosive. Come on. Literally trying to light a fire in that midsection. Come on, boom, boom, boom. Go three, two, switch legs, repeat, go. Boom, boom, boom. Everything is nonstop. You take breaks when it's break time. Unless you absolutely need it. Otherwise, just keep moving at a consistent pace. Yes, Melissa. Good, Megan. Come on, make that step back long and strong. Good, Hillary. Yes, people. Good, Arcelli. Oh, we are cranking it. Come on, you got five. Oh, don't stop. Don't stop. Come on, don't slow down. Three, two, and recover. Oh, my goodness gracious. Woo. That's a good one. Keep the hands up. Keep the head up. Keep the chest up. All right, next exercise. You're going to grab a weight, whatever you have. We're going to start by standing with our left leg. So you're going to put the weight on your left shoulder, on your left side. You're then going to take a step forward with your left, power the weight overhead, and then bring it back, all right? So start with the weight on your left shoulder. You're going to step with your left foot and then arc it over the head. Three, two, one. Let's go. So you step out, bring the weight up, and then over. So whatever leg you're stepping out with, when you drop that foot out and down, the weight should be on the other side as a counterbalance. If you want, you can always keep the weight right above the collarbone and just do left leg front lunges as well. But you're trying to arc it and drive through your heel as you power back. All right, three, two, switch sides. So now the weight going to the right. You're stepping with your right and driving the weight overhead in a circular fashion. Make sure the eyes are up, chest is up, Core is tight, and you're keeping that back knee about an inch off the ground. Make sure you're taking a long step. Woo! Long step. No regrets on these steps. Big, long, and strong ones. Good, three, two, and one. Up. Woo! Oh, yeah. Remember, try to, I see some hands on the thighs. Try to keep the hands up. Good, there you go. Good adjustment. Great job, team. So remember, we're going to start with the weight on the left side, and you're going to step with the left leg. As the leg steps, we arch. All right, here we go. Three, two, and a one. Let's go. So you are stepping out and arcing, and then bring it back. Now, as you drive back, drive through your heel. Now, it's okay if you drag your heel. That's actually an indicator that you're applying power through the proper part of the foot. Good. Yes, I see a lot of phenomenal four lunges right now. Nice game with that arc. Good. Good, Shelly. Come on, in three, two, and switch sides. Weight is on the right. Step with your right. So now you're stepping with your right. Now when you're in that full lunge, make sure that back knee is about an inch off the ground. You want to make sure that you're getting that knee just shy of the floor, but not allowing it to actually touch the floor. Nice, Rachel. Good, Leslie. Now, really fight the urge to do a baby circle. If you have shoulder mobility and strength, full arc. Do the full arc as you step. Good. Three, two, and uno. Ah, yes, y'all. Great job. All right, we got one more. Uno mas. Great job, y'all. Ooh, we feeling good? You're on mute, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume everybody was like, yeah. That's what I felt. I felt that just now. All right. <laughs> Here we go. All right, weight is on the left. Three, two, and one. Step with the left. Power back up to the other side. Good. 
Now this one, don't think about it as much like the Muay Thai knee. This is more of just a steady, steady, and then boom, power back. So as you drop down, the chest is still up, the abs are still fired, the eye gaze is still forward, so that helps you with proper posture. Yes. Come on, seven seconds. That's what I'm talking about. Five. All right, in three, two, and switch sides. Weight is on the right. Now we're stepping with the right. Step out with the right. Good, and then power back. Good. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Good. Now remember, this is your last time doing this, so really get that full circular motion if you have the ability and the mobility, the strength, and the stability in the shoulders. Come on, you got at least two more. Oh, five seconds. Three, you got one more. Two, and ah. Oh, air buys. Yes, all right, congratulations. You have made it to our last two exercises, and they are literally the same thing. We're gonna do it just like last time, where you do 30 on the one side and 30 on the other. So we're gonna do a reverse lunge this time, no weight. You're gonna step back with your left, then you're gonna drive up and repeat. Option, no jump, or just a reverse lunge, or plant your feet and just go up and down. Three, two, one, let's go. So you step back, drive up, step back, Drive up. It doesn't matter how high you go. You can even just drive the knee. You can even add a calf raise if you have that unilateral stability. If you want a challenge, you can always add a weight to your collarbone if you want as well. Totally fine as well. Whatever you need. Go. Whether you got one, whether you got two, go. Five, three, two, switch legs, right side, go. Don't stop. It's continuous. I know it's strenuous, but it's continuous. Good team. Woo! Oh my goodness. Drive that knee up, up, and then right back down. Make sure both knees have a 90 degree bend, and you're keeping that back knee off the ground. Come on, chest up, eyes up. Five, three, two, woo! One, we're coming. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh. Think about this. You literally only have two minutes of actual activity left, and then you're done. That's it. You're an animal, you're a beast, you got this. We got two more rounds. That's it. You already know the exercise. Left foot, three, two, one, let's go. Come on. Step back, drive up. Now remember, if you're jumping, don't even stress about how high you can go. It's more about that consistency. Yes, you can keep both feet planted and just do more of a static lunge as well, if you prefer. Nice, 10 seconds. Oh my goodness, I know we're burning. I know it's starting to get difficult, but this is where that mind needs to override that fatigue. You decide when you're done. Three, two, switch sides, go. Continue, right leg this time. Try to keep that back knee off the ground and do everything in your power to keep your hands up. If you can, drive the opposite hand up with that knee. So if you're driving your right knee, you drive your left arm up to help you create a little bit more propulsion going straight upward. Yes, don't forget to drop in that knee. I'm seeing some of our lunges turn more into just a step back. Yeah, there you go, just like an elevator. Step back, drop down, and up. Three, two, and one. Ah, yeah, shake your legs out. Oh, shake it up, shake it up. Good job. <laughs> All right. Air bump, or air, air bump, air, air five, boom. Double fist bump, boom. All right, elbows, boom. Chest, boom. Uh, virtual head butt, uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, last one, three, two, one, let's go. You're stepping back, come on. It is your final minute of this whole class. All we got left after this is a stretch, and then you get to enjoy the rest of this beautiful, sunny Monday. At least if you're tuning in from San Diego, you will. Ah, <laughs> yes. Come on, go on, keep driving. 10 seconds till we take it to the other side. Really think, if you start to wobble like you're on the Titanic, think about the abs. Go ahead, Chetley, go the legs up. Go ahead, three, two, and switch legs. Repeat, good, Hillary, right to it. Good, Arcelli, come on, keep grinding. Good, Rita, good people. That's what I'm talking about, Rachel. Good, Leslie, come on, Taneha. 20 seconds left. Oh, my goodness. You are earning and burning. You absolutely, you are absolutely killing it right now. What a 
one way to start your Monday. Five seconds. Come on, one more. Three, two, and oh, one. Oh my goodness. I don't know when the last time you gave yourself one of these. Do that, do that, that's nice. Ah, ah, ah. Pat yourself, love yourself. Yes, all that good stuff. Great job, air fives. We are about to stretch. Now, if you have the time, be honest. I highly recommend that you utilize this. I will tell you from a longevity standpoint, recovery and especially these post-workout stretches and rollouts are muy importante. If you have a foam roller, feel free to utilize it. I'm gonna run you through a stretch as if you don't have one. So, since the first one is a glute roll, we're just gonna start seated. If you have a foam roller, feel free to roll out, but I'm gonna pretend like you don't have one. Bring your left leg over your right, hug your front knee, and pull it all the way in, just hold. So pull that leg all the way in, inhale, and exhale. Oh my goodness. Hey, you guys got me sweating serious right now. Whew, great job. Nice control. You should feel that elongation through your butt. Really getting that glute stretch. Good inhale. And we're going to take our right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Inhale. And add that spinal rotation to it. Oh, my goodness. Inhale. Good. Hold it for five. Three, two, and good. Switch legs. So right leg's coming over the left. Hug that right knee, super tight. Inhale, and then as you pull in, empty out that air. Go, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. Inhale, exhale. All right, on this next one, inhale, bring that right arm behind, left elbow on the outside of the left right knee, and oh, I just got a couple cracks, that's real nice. Good. Make sure your eyes are gazing back by that back hand. Also, today is week, the beginning of week two of our cor uh, corn tone frog, uh, eat the frog challenge, and the photo on a workout challenge. Check out the social media if you haven't already. Let's go ahead and bring those feet wide. Inhale your hands up and exhale. Just hinge forward. Good. So just go as far as you can. Try not to round the shoulders too far. Try to keep the shoulders back. Now we're gonna inhale. You're gonna go to your right side. Bring your right hand over, your left hand up and over. Exhale. Stretching out the hamstring and the side body. Only go as far as you can go. I'm not too mobile myself. I'm working on it. Inhale. Exhale. Jamie also sent out a brand new newsletter. Last night, inhale back to center. Same thing on the side, exhale. So if you haven't taken a look at it, I highly recommend it. She does a great job. Got some recipes in there from Liz Shaw, our registered dietitian that we work with, who also has an amazing Instapot book. Let me tell you, just got my Instapot. I'm about to start shipping it up. So I highly recommend you take advantage of that. Inhale back to center. Let's bring those feet together. Let's grab our left foot, pull it back. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale. Lean on back and stretch your quad. Ah, that's nice. Also, Coach Damien is still doing those PE workouts. I highly recommend that you take advantage of those, especially if you have kids. Um, you can play them whether you are uh, doing it with them or not. Damien will take care of the business um, during the workout. Let's go ahead and inhale up. Switch legs. Inhale. And exhale as you lean on back. Good. Oh, we got 90 seconds left. Oh, inhale. And exhale. Good. All right, from here, we're going to start to uh, work into a, a lunge stretch. So we're going to go ahead and bring that foot back out front. It's crisscross applesauce. Go hands and knees. And then bring your right foot up to the outside. Inhale, lift the chest. You're gonna tuck the pelvis under and then just exhale. Lean forward. Now, you're not leaning forward too far. The main focus on this, if you don't feel it enough in your hips, is to tuck the pelvis. I'm telling you, if you tuck it and try to hit forward, you won't need to lean so far. I'm barely leaning and it is absolutely fired up in that hip flexor, which is what's really worked with those lunges. Good, nice inhale. 
And exhale, good. Go ahead and switch feet and repeat the exercise. So bring that foot out. Inhale, lift the chest, tuck the pelvis, abs are tight, squeeze the butt, and just lightly shift the hips forward. There we go. Whoo! Good. Nice and easy. We got 15 seconds. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Good. Let's go ahead and uh, set those feet back. Let's pop it down dog real quick. Pedal the feet out just a couple of times. Woo! Let's go ahead and inhale. Walk those hands back to those feet. Let's come up one vertebrae at a time. Go shoulder rolls back and then boom! Yes, y'all. So proud of you. That's what I'm talking about. Let me uh, unmute this. Oh, there goes the mouse. Let me unmute this thing for you guys so we can all say, oh, bye bye Give me one second here. Woo! All right, you are officially on the mic, everybody. How are we feeling? Nobody knows. No You're on. Who wants to talk? How are we feeling? Good. Are you guys tired? How was that one? Huh? You go, okay, did it feel like peak week? Yeah. It did feel like peak week. So remember, this whole week is technically peak week, which is week three, which is supposed to be our hardest week, okay? So just remember that this week is gonna be the hardest templates you've seen all month. So make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Bye. If you guys are running away, have a great day. Uh, but uh, make sure that you are listening to your body. I'm telling you, because these will catch up, all right? Um, does anybody need anything? No? Is anybody doing anything fun outside this week? I heard they opened up the beaches. No. Yeah? You're like, oh. Hey, you guys, are, you guys must be that tired. I'm not, nobody's talking. What's going on? <laughs> uh, uh, well, I'm just saying, if you do go to the beach, be careful. Still wear your mask, all that stuff. Be safe. Uh, and I live in PB, so I don't know if you guys saw those protests, but... Uh, uh, yeah, I went running this morning and I saw all the, the masks and the signs left in, on the streets. So I was like, oh, you guys are going to protest and throw all the trash on the floor. I love it. Anyway, um, you be safe. Shelly, thank you. Great job. Melissa, great job. Megan, Allison, Air Finds, Kim, Laura, Seneha, Rachel. Good job, Rena. Hillary, you guys have a phenomenal day. If you need anything, let me know, okay? All right, bye. Have a great day. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye. <laughs>